The Krishna River is the fourth biggest river in terms of water inflows and river basin area in India, after the Ganga, Godavari and Brahmaputra. The river is almost 1,300 kilometres long. The river is also called Krishnavini. It is a major source of irrigation for Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Sources The Krishna River originates in the western Ghats near Mahabaleshwar at an elevation of about 1,300 metres, in the state of Maharashtra in central India. It is one of the longest rivers in India. The Krishna River is around 1,300 kilometres in length. The Krishna River's source is at Mahabalaswar near the Jor village in the extreme north of Y Taluka, Satara district, Maharashtra in the west and empties into the Bay of Bengal at Hamasaladevi near Kaduru in Andhra Pradesh, on the east coast. It flows through the state of Karnataka before entering Telangana state. The delta of this river is one of the most fertile regions in India and was the home to ancient Satavahana and Ikshvaku Sun dynasty kings. Vijayawada is the largest city on the river Krishna. It causes heavy soil erosion during the monsoon floods. It flows fast and furious, often reaching depths of over 75 feet 23 meters. Ironically, there is a saying in Marathi, Shant Vahat Krishnamai, which means, quiet flows Krishna. This term is used to describe that a person should be as quiet as Krishna. Tributaries. <inaudible> 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 The largest tributary of the Krishna River is the Tungabhadra River with a drainage basin measuring 71,417 square kilometers, 27,574 square miles, running for about 531 kilometers, 330 miles, but the longest tributary is the Bhima River, which makes a total run of 861 kilometers, 535 miles, and has an equally large drainage area of 70,614 square kilometers, 27 264 square miles. Three tributaries Panchganga, Warna and Yurla meet Krishna River near Sangli. These places are considered very holy. It is said that Lord Datatriya spent some of his days at Adumbar on the banks of River Krishna. Sangameswaram of Kurnool district in Andhra Pradesh is a famous pilgrim centre for Hindus where Tungabhadra and Bhavanasi rivers join the Krishna River. The Sangameswaram temple is now drowned in the Sarisailam Reservoir, and visible for devotees only during summer when the reservoir's water level comes down. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna Basin Krishna Basin extends over an area of 258,948 square kilometers, 99,980 square miles, which is nearly 8% of the total geographical area of the country. This large basin lies in the states of Karnataka, 113,271 square kilometers, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, 76,252 square kilometers, and Maharashtra, 69,425 square kilometers. The Krishna River rises in the Western Ghats at an elevation of about 1,337 meters, 4,386 feet, just north of Mahabaleshwar, about 64 kilometers, 40 miles, from the Arabian. Sea. It flows for about 1,400 kilometers (870 miles) and outfalls into the Bay of Bengal. The principal tributaries joining Krishna are the Ghataprabha River, Malaprabha River, Bhima River, Tungabhadra River, and Musi River. Most of this basin comprises rolling and undulating country, except for the western border, which is formed by an unbroken line of the Western Ghats. The important soil types found in the basin are black soils, red soils, laterite and lateritic soils, alluvium, mixed soils, red and black soils and saline and alkaline soils. An average annual surface water potential of 78.1 cubic kilometers has been assessed in this basin. Out of this, 58.0 cubic kilometers is utilizable water. Culturable area in the basin is about 203,000 square kilometers, 78,000 square miles, which is 10.4% of the total cultivable area of the country. 
As the water availability in the Krishna River was becoming inadequate to meet the water demand, Godavari River is linked to the Krishna River by commissioning the Polavaram right bank canal with the help of Patasima lift scheme in the year 2015 to augment water availability to the Prakasam Barrage in Andhra Pradesh. The irrigation canals of Prakasam Barrage form part of National Waterway 4. Agumbe which receives second highest rainfall 7620 mm mean annual in India is located in the Krishna River basin Mulyanagiri peak in Karnataka at an altitude of 1930 meters 6330 feet above MSL is the highest point of the Krishna basin Topic <laughs> places and temples This river is revered by Hindus as sacred. The river is also believed to remove all sins of people by taking a bath in this river. The center of attraction is the Krishna Pushkaram Fair which is held once in 12 years on the banks of the Krishna River. There are many pilgrimage places in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh on the course of the river. The first holy place on the river Krishna is at Y, known for the Mahaganpati Mandir and Kashivishweshwar Temple. It has seven ghats along the river. Temples like Datadeva Temple, which is revered by the people of Maharashtra, are located on the banks of Krishna at Narsabawadi and Adambar near Sangli. Also, located on the banks of the river Krishna are the Sangamishwar Shiva Temple at Haripur, Goddess Durga Temple in Vijayawada and Ramaling Temple near Sangli, Malakarjuna Jyotirlinga Sarisailam, Amareshwara Swami Temple Amaravati State Capital, Datadeva Temple, Sangamishwara Shiva Temples at Alampur in Telangana. <laughs> Flora and fauna Widespread area near to the Krishna River holds the rich flora and fauna. The last surviving mangrove forests in the Krishna estuary have been declared as the Krishna Wildlife Sanctuary. The sanctuary is the home to the large number of resident and migratory birds. Fishing cat, otter, estuarine crocodile, spotted deer, sambar, black buck, snake, lizards and jackal can also be spotted in the sanctuary. The sanctuary also supports rich vegetation with plants like Rhizophora, Avicennia, and Aegisaros. The following are few other wildlife sanctuaries located in the river basin. <laughs> <laughs> Waterfalls The following are few other waterfalls located in the river basin. Topic. Bridges The Krishna River is spanned by several bridges along its course, some of which are listed below. Krishna Bridge, Y, Maharashtra. This bridge, which is located in the Dharmpuri Peth area of the town of Y, is one of the oldest bridges that were built by the British in India. It spans the Krishna over nine kamans arches and is made of black rock. The bridge serves as a flood mark when the water rises to the level of the road on the bridge for the Waikar people. Irwin Bridge, Sangli, this is one of the oldest, historic and largest bridges over the Krishna that were built by the British. The Irwin Bridge, which is built of reddish stone, has two passages where one can climb down to the river in the middle of its span to view the water. Kudachi, Ugar Railway Bridge built by the British in 1891. B. Soundati Bridge, Raybag, this is also one of the oldest bridges built during the British rule. This bridge connects Maharashtra to Karnataka state. Tangadaji Bridge, this is one of oldest bridge that connects the Bijapur and Bagalkot districts of Karnataka. God Nilambika Temple is there at the bank of Krishna River. <laughs> Floods. In October 2009, heavy floods occurred, isolating 350 villages and leaving millions homeless, which is believed to be first occurrence in 1,000 years. The flood resulted in heavy damage to Kurnool, Mahabubnagar, Gunter, Krishna and Nalagonda districts. 
The entire city of Kurnool was immersed in approximately 10 feet 3 meters water for nearly three days, water inflow of 1,110,000 cu foot per second, 31,000 cubic meters per second was recorded at the Prakasam Barrage, which surpassed the previous record of 1,080,000 cu foot per second, 31,000 cubic meters per second recorded in the year 1903. Krishna River is the second largest east-flowing river of the peninsula. The flood waters of Krishna and Godavari rivers can be fully utilized by exporting water to other east-flowing peninsula rivers up to Vagai River in Tamil Nadu by constructing a coastal reservoir on the Bay of Bengal Sea area. <laughs> Interstate water sharing At present, the award of Bachawat Tribunal dated 31 May 1976 is applicable for sharing the water available in the river among the riparian states. The Brajesh Kumar Tribunal Award given on 29 November 2013 is challenged by Andhra Pradesh in the Supreme Court and the case pending since then. Newly created Telangana state also approached Supreme Court demanding a fresh tribunal hearing to secure its water needs on equitable basis. Dams There are many dams constructed across the Krishna River. Hydroelectric power stations Krishna River is one of the rivers whose water energy is harnessed to a large extent by various hydroelectric power stations in India. The following is the list of hydro-electric power stations excluding small and medium installations. Topic mineral deposits Krishna River Basin is endowed with rich mineral deposits such as oil and gas, coal, iron, limestone, dolomite, gold, granite, laterite, uranium, diamonds, etc. The following are the few noted deposits. Topic. Pollution. Most of the years, the river water is not joining the sea due to full utilization of water mainly in agriculture. Closed river basin of Krishna means that the river ecosystem is on the verge of death. The river receives the waste from the large number of cities and the river basin population has increased to 80 million enhancing pollution load many folds into the river. Adequate average and minimum continuous environmental flows to the sea are not taking place in most of the years constricting salt export and leading to formation of saline and sodic alkaline soils in the lower reaches of the river basin. High alkalinity water is discharged from the ash dump areas of many coal-fired power stations into the river which further increases the alkalinity of the river water whose water is naturally of high alkalinity since the river basin is draining vast area of basalt rock formations. The following are the few coal-fired power stations located in the river basin. See also